How do you think um, physics first could contribute to benefiting uh, inner city schools? Well, it's a good example because physics first makes sense. It's logical. It's the way it should be done. Physics underlies chemistry. And so there's a connection between the subjects, which is with science. But it's not only good for future scientists, it's good for future everybody. Yeah, give a three year exposure to the science works and the connections between the sciences and the way the way science plays its its role in your in your life. So that part is I think very important. The fact that it's so hard to sell this to twenty five thousand high school is the discouraging that says that our system doesn't work at all. A system of innovation. Everything talks of this country uh, profited from innovation, from uh, imagination, from inventing things, devising you know, all kinds of uh, uh, technologies. And now we're, uh, we're fading. We look at the patents, we look at inventions, we look at publications, no longer we're quite well now in 2017, and so on. And that's bad for the future of the nation and bad for the world. I think it's great that we have you know, another almost billion people that are coming into the industry this year by South Korea, India, China. Yeah, so that's good stuff. I mean, some of us are the only one thing that is beneficial. But we, if we can't read the papers they write, we have lost that scientific knowledge. That's bad. And the loss is a nation. Do you think, like organizations like the American Advancement of uh, Science, do you think um, they're tapping into enough, say, internet resources to try and uh, educate? Well, there's so many things going on. Well, the internet is a, is a fantastic tool for getting information. It's not only getting the information, it's incorporating that, understanding that. That's what I call using it with wisdom. That doesn't come out of the internet. What you have out of the internet is facts. You can get all the facts you want out of the internet. Using it in a way that changes your way of thinking, that's what you want. You want people, no matter what they're going to be, to be able to think critically, be skeptical about the reports of the media and coming out of the sources, enthusiastic about novelty, to welcome the notion that anybody, even girls, can do that for that. It's hard to and so on. I mean, that's what we're doing. And we know that a good example, a brilliant mathematician, she got her job, and she was a Crazy. Everyone's everywhere. So I think we've got a, we have, and we have a terrible system. It's, it's 50 states, 16,000 school districts, 25,000 high schools, hierarchy. Superintendents, boards, and so on. And, uh, nobody knows what everybody else is doing. That system, I know, has to be simple. We've got to get some coherence. We're trying to do this now by talking to governors, not governors, and the governors' association. Guys do it right. 
physics, they'll see the connections to chemistry, the chemistry will take them back to physics, the biology, will come in and they'll see a connection between the subjects. And if you include good storytelling, Galileo, Foucault, who had some great ideas and so on, they begin to see that science is an activity uh, which, which is very powerful and very fruitful and very useful.